guys, oh my guys, oh my guys. It was really hot today, so I waited till the evening. Um, and I want to, I want to cut some of these out for a nice decoration for the pocket ladder cards. And uh, before I did that, well, I just have uh, a few leftovers um, cards. I always use some. Um, use leftovers to cut out um, my things and I was thinking well white is nice but how cute it will be if there is a little shiny so what I did was use washi tape washi tape so I use for this one I used the golden rose color I really like it. So now I'm going to choose. Well, oh, silver one is also nice. Let me use first a silver one. And I open my window because it's really hot upstairs here, yeah, you guys. So yeah, there are cars driving by or big trucks. That's just how it is, guys. Here in the summer, it's hot today. It's really hot. But I want to show you what I did. I just use my washi tape. And well, of course, we need wash tape if we want to do this, but I just want to show you that it works perfect. Let's see how much do we need. Oh, it's enough. Four times it's enough. Now I'm really going to adjust my washi tape to the paper. Now I like to cut these off. Don't want to get my plates getting sticky. Throw them away and now I am going to put it well let me put another shape let's see um, shall we use this one yeah that's also a very nice one a little tape in it here we go let's use this one let's grab my my machine so you can I already <laughs> Use it. So let's clean it up. Okay. Let's grab my machine so I will show you. Oh yeah, it's dirty, but no matter what, it still cuts like hell. Okay, so I lay this on top. Then I will grab my plate. And I am guessing it will cut perfectly once I do this but I just have just a little old chipboard piece what's already old and flat but it's just a tiny millimeter extra and uh, I really like to use that so I only have going to go one time and it really does it so peel this off and here we go Cuts like amazing. And then just peel this off. And then use all. Well, you just can rub it a little. You don't have to be careful in your craft tool. It's already a mess. Just swipe the floor. Okay, let's point this back here so I can show you and look at this. So cute! Silver! Oh wow, I really like it. Yay! How sparkly is this? So yeah, just an extra tip for using your washi tape. Woo! Okay, look cool. I want to do one more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. I think now I want to use this one. And now I want to use the gold. This is just another type of washi tape. And I just want to see if this works too. I think it do, but let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. 
Oh, that's right. It's not a tear wash tape. I have to cut it. And I really love these shapes for backgrounds. They are just perfect and I really it gives an extra touch. Oh, I think one more. This is this one is a little smaller than the other ones. So, okay. Sticky, sticky. Let's grab it. Clean off. Now I know where my nails <laughs> are getting so short. Well, not short, but <laughs> where is my? Here it is. Not short, but the it's it's getting uh, not that it's as as. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -mm -mm. My English today is mad. So, I think I really don't need this thing. Let me show you if I am just putting it, not using my extra thing. I think it will do quite good when it's... Does it too? Don't know why I use it. Sometimes I, I just use it. And you can you can keep these as you want if you want, because you still can use <laughs> these as decoration if you want. Just wanted to show you that you can make your own confetti with this too. That's just amazing. But let's peel this off. Look how quick it goes. Yeah, yeah, we know you have a scooter. <laughs> okay, last one. Oh, here hangs two more. And there we go. There we have a gold one. Cool. Look. Whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. Love it. Okay, I think I have three now, so that will be that will be enough. So, okay, let's use it in decoration of my pocket letter cards. And before I forgot, I want to show you. This is the C L D R X L zero seven. And the square one, that's this one, is the CLDRXL08. And the first one we did was this one. And that's the CLDRXL06. Now there is one more, but I will stop. I have enough for these three. And uh, there's one more, and that's the CLDRXL09. So, we cool. So nice. Always use them. Ah, cool. Hmm. Okay. I was doing my very first one. I really like it. It's really so easy, but so much fun. You just going to sit down and just search for the things that comes with the kit, with this kit, and then just go along. So while we doing this together with me. And then with the black one. So I cut what I did. Doggy, doggy, doggy. I am soon down, my dear. You are hot too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what I did, I cut out eight because we have four pockets. So I want to do on the left and the right side. I cut my pastel cardstock eight pieces. Just using your leftovers and then cutting out with just a little 
edge. And so what do I did? I just have these little tiny um, doilies and they're actually not um, that I cut out. They are actually just, um, how you call these? How you call these? Uh, under, for under a cup or for something candy sweet uh, cake you can eat. So I found these on the internet and they are really, really, really cheap. They are a hundred for two euros, I guess. So they are awesome and really small. So uh, I, um, for those who has a, a, a die, then please use a die. But I just don't have any die in my stash just yet. So I am going to use these. They are so cute. So what I do, what I did with the white one, I just fold this around like that. And then I am just going to wrap it around. And I'm doing a little glue on. There we go. And then of course, on this side too and it's so much fun doing this it's really a relaxing time well it should be better if it not was too hot but okay not complaining dear no 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 i don't like cold but i even don't know i <laughs> don't like hot but okay so now i pick out let's see i grab my other Kit. Let's see which one I picked. Should have the have it another. Hey, this is exactly the same one. So why I do not have that one? Hello, am I missing something? I do know that I have one more. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Oh wait, wait just a minute. I ruined just one page. <laughs> okay, let's grab me another one. Yeah, I remember. I was trying out to cut this piece extra with um, my machine. Well, that this that 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 did not work very perfect, but I have enough. So let's grab another one. And let's go away, not use it, only the first piece. So I can show you exact the same thing. So, okay, let's peel this off. And I don't know why I wanted to try it, but I just did. I just wanted to try it out with my machine, but something went wrong. So, okay, that's this one. Then a nice feather. with the other one okay then I grabbed this piece and I cut out this piece straight here we go and this one nice Easy but catchy. Okay. There we go. Okay. So just gluing on this on top. My a little black doily then the word 
are just so in love with this kit. Gosh. <laughs> every time uh, every time I go in the shop, the the local shop, I watch if they have the same one. And if they do, I just buy it. <laughs> I think I have mm, quite a few and it's it's very nice because sometimes you guys you live in another country or even in my own country people can't get anything in the same store so if you want but I do have a few left but perhaps I will make a nice kit of it that would be nice too Anyway, I really love this one. It's so cool. Okay, so now we have put on this. Don't forget the birds, Diane. Don't forget the birds. Here we go. Okay, and then just using some little crystals I have. See if I have exactly the same, the same. Let's see, just, and these also are in so many stores available. Let's see the pink one. Did come here. The peach one. And why I use a little glue? Well, these are very cheap and nothing is the matter with them but the little they are a little uh, tacky but i know if you use these the tackiness is going to be a little down once you put them on so i like to use a little extra glue so i'll be sure that it will stay there where I want it to be and that's why I really like this art glitter glue it's just so perfect and then the smallest one here we go and now we have da -da -da -da, exactly the same thing but then for the black one oh one thing we have to glue it down of course oh my gosh almost forgot and then the first one is already ready Here we go. Okay, now I can show you. Ta -da -da -da. Ta -da 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 -da. Oh, isn't this adorable? I really can't tell which one I like more. The black or the white. So cute. Okay, so yeah, this is the first one. Seven to go. <laughs> and if you don't want to watch me all doing this, then just skip forward to the next part. But some guys of you just want to show... And especially for those who have the same kit, it's really easy so you can see which one I grab. Okay. Holy, 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 holy. Tian, stop. <laughs> okay, the next little pocket card we are going to make is this one. So cute. So I picked out this little card from the kit. And of course, any nice. A uh, paper pack with images is perfect, of course. Let's glue this down. And I will put this nice in the middle. Then I grab my ribbon with the tape already on it. Well, I put the tape on, but did that a little earlier 
peel off the tape is then a little more difficult. Okay, here we go. And then this goes just around here, just that you see a little of your white card. Okay, then I picked out some flowers. And normally I will love to use my um, pen set. So I start with just a, a mint one in the corner and then two white ones. Then a pen. And I just picked the colors that will be back seeing in the dream catcher so it matches with the dream catchers and I'm just putting these in an angle and then just one more here in the middle so these are all the colors that matches the dream catcher and then I pick out and cut out this black word oopsie and I put this in the corner so it really pops out. And then I am going to pick some. I call these again. Um, um, yeah, here on my counter they called lovers, lovertjes, but. Normally, oh, this should be a cold one, but in English it's called sequence. So I just picked some nice ones and I picked some little crystals that I will put in the middle to cover up the little hole. And that's a perfect finishing touch if it stays there. I think a little, a little glue will do it. Okay, yep, here we go. So that's that. Just wiggle a little till it's on its correct place. And there you go. That's it guys. Really simple. And now we can glue this down. And then we have a black and a white one. So easy. Oh my gosh, I really like it. So what do you think? So damn cute. Okay, so I just love putting them already in, but it's not ready, but I'm just going to put them in so I will see the end results. really cute wow but we still need the back of course but wow just wow just wow 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 put this back in here careful because my glue is not dry oh my gosh look the difference between these two they are so adorable look at this can you see the difference between the white and the black? I really love them both. Yeah, it's so cute. Okay, so up to the next one. Okay, let's make another ATC card. Well, this is the white version. Like it. Really 
simple. So let's see for the black one. So I am going to use, well here I used the white lace like these. Thank you Julie that you sent me these. Uh, that one I glued on first. But for this one we are going to use black. But I don't have that nice um, in black. But I do have a black lace. So I am going to use that instead. Okay, so let's put some tape on. That's step one. That's the base, the beige. Okay, uh, I'm going to use two small pieces. And then I think for this one I will wrap it around because this is really thin so it can wrap around. not staying down as nice as I want so let's use some stronger stuff sometimes we need a turf hand <laughs> but it goes well Okay, so the next thing I think I'm going to do is glue this on so my lace will stay put. Okay, this one is going to be the black one of course. Okay, next thing I used is the washi tape cut out with these decorate XL and this one I am going to place on here so I am going to use my art glitter glue because this is a really fine small tip and I just put some little dots all the way around that is enough and I'm going to place it on here Okay, so that is the base. That is the base. Okay, so now I want this on top here. But I don't like this small thing. So I am going to cover that with this these blue leaves. And I choose these blue leaves because... Um, the feathers are blue too in my beaver bear section. Okay, so then I first going to glue this on top. And then the other leaf. So I want this a little to here to see what you prefer. Then I am getting the other blue leaf and I am gluing this on the other side. So I just cover the edge with the lace and the beaver bear. I don't know, is it the beaver or is it the bear? I don't know what. Anyway, we are going to glue this down. Yeah. Then, while this is black, we have to figure out if I am going to use the same. Let's see, I don't know. Um, I think we do. Let's cut it out. We are going to use the same one. I want to see if it fits because otherwise it's black on black. But perhaps 
it matches perfect. match or we can move this to the left then still hmm no I just want it at the exact same spot I think it will still readable what do you think what do you think so let's put this on here is it time Nope. We have to go to the dentist in about a few minutes, but I thought I would make a next ATC card. Okay, now just a little extra on here. Hmm, yeah, that doesn't work. The clock is dead. Okay, and now the finishing touch. Like I said, I did not throw these away because I want to use them. It's a perfect match for now. So again, on these sides, just using three little dots. Oh my gosh, are you tired? <laughs> get up really early today because she had to go to the doctor also so we have a very nice appointment day today but in between I can do a little crafting okay so here we go the same one as the white how cute, 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 love it, okay, yeah, up to the next. Hello, good morning everyone, we are going to make a second card, I have put on, put, um, open my window so it's really noisy because it's really hot upstairs uh, today, uh, so I hope it cools down in a minute so I can close them, but for now, sorry for the noise, but it's really too hot upstairs so okay we are going to make this one today really cute really easy really easy going so we grab the pink one and I have the other um, left over from my doily and we just glue this down on the bottom just that it covers up all edges and then I am just going to wrap it around and seal it with some tape and then we just cut the leftovers off here we go really simple then we glue this piece on and yeah it, it's really fun making these cards but yeah for some reason I am just taking it really too long but I just want to make it perfect okay then I grab my warm wishes Just follow the outside lines and a little inside that will do it and then I glue it on top of here of the picture make sure that your glue is going everywhere so your vellum is good attached okay really awesome and well we can make this already on the black piece here we 
it out, glue it on, and then on this piece I made a few bling bling extra, so I am going to do that on here too. Really good glue for this project. And then we're just putting some bling bling on. And these are just very cheap crystals. Nothing fancy, nothing expensive. They were just really cheap, but really cool. Putting an extra dot on because I wiggled too lot, too much. <laughs> Come on, guy. I want you, but you don't want me. Okay, just grab another one. Okay, so let me dry this before I put it on the album. And uh, well, it's really simple, but I really like it. Yeah. Cute. I think the black one really pops out my my uh, balloon, but really cute. Love them both. Okay, so now it's time to do the back, the back, the back, the back. I put this one second away. I already put this on um, the album. But now it's time to do the back. And normally a pocket ladder is supposed to give something as a little gift in it. Like a tea bag or a little bag with just little embellishments in. Or just a letter so you can write something down for the person. And wrap it around in a nice um, bow. So we're going to do that too. Just a few little gifts so okay let's grab one piece out because we want something to put on here so let's get me a second to think what we are going to do okay first we are going to um, make uh, the cards a little prettier for the background so nothing too fancy with uh, laces or um, crystals or anything because we have to put something on top here so just embellish these four cards where's my fourth oh my gosh where is my hmm. okay I miss one hello wow there's some one missing but anyway let's start with the first one just pick out some nice things and just glue them on and as close to the edge as possible so there is no thing coming loose oh my gosh I really have to close the window very soon <laughs> The neighbors on the other side of my street are having a new rooftop. So they are working there. <laughs> okay, anyway, but this one is... Oh my gosh, I have a crystal on the bottom. Okay, so this is really simple. Just two simple picks. Really simple. Then we grab this one. And I use just these two and I am first going to put 
the legs in between here and then I just go all the way around as close as I can to the edges that was a big truck <laughs> Yeah, that's a real problem living so close to a 80 kilometer highway. Well, it's not a highway, but they can drive at 80 kilometers per hour. So, yeah, that's a really busy street. But anyway, okay, so cut out the edges that falls over. Okay, smooch it a little. Okay, that was the second one. Just putting some under her ears so it will stay. Yep, okay, that was card two. Really simple. Now we are going to make this one. Just a really nice tippy, how you call this, for the Indians, yeah, tippy, I believe, an Indian tent. Okay, then I want to use the fox, because he or she is dressed up with some nice feathers, so I thought that would be fitting perfectly at front of the tent and then instead of a fire I put up some nice flowers where goes my imagination well pretty far <laughs> okay so now we have two of these and now I have to search for my last card okay I think it's falling down here it was, it was falling down my table. Okay, well, same thing as the other ones. Just picking out, yay, big truck. <laughs> Just picking out real nice pictures. And gluing it down. Then I grab these flowers. They come all the way to the bottom, like this, and then for the last piece I use this, how you call this, a banner or something like that, but this goes over top, and yeah, it's a pretty, then I have to cut out these nice things, but that's just how it goes. Okay, so here it is, the four backgrounds, pretty easy. Okay, so before I glue this on the backgrounds of my fronts, um, yeah, let's pick up some nice presents. Okay, um, I finished it up. Uh, with the white one and we're going to do with the black one together so I put my cards in I put the back on so I first put the cards in and then this is the back with a little present and I got a little bag with some nice things in and I made a letter so you can write on to your friend and I made a little card where I wrapped around my leftover seam binding so they can use on tags whatever they want and I put some nice breads on a card so well it's just a little a little thing so yeah you, now you can don't see the embellishment pictures that we did on on the back but if the person gets this and use the presents then you don't see blank card so that was my intention so okay let's make this on the black edition so what I did well I just grabbed a bag and I fill out with just a little 
uh, buttons and some little flowers and some embellishment and just some little things and I even put a nice ornament in and let me see if I can show you that's just really love these elements but I don't use them quite often but I still have them come out please I want to show my guests Yay! really love this one look how cute so they can put it in the album if they want but anyway just some loving nice things that goes in this little bag so I want to decorate this little piece because this top is not nice so what I do I just grab a simple uh, piece of card or just some plain leftover and just cut out a piece and I don't know how wide this is but I think yeah, this will do it now what I did was I just fold it in two and I want this to shut down so I am taking my tape runner and I am going to put some tape on all the way now I'm going to put this in here and just close this so I have a nice web it around and now I am going to cut this piece off we don't use and then it's just a matter of making a corner or perhaps it's better to use this way this one yeah, this goes nice here we go and then making a hole in it and then it's just looking like you bought it in a store there you go present number one really look how this is just finished really easy okay next one is I grabbed a piece of paper also um, and we want to make this smaller than your uh, your card so I think this was let me see yeah this was five centimeter and I believe that's two and a half inches and um, the length is uh, of course the same same thing mine was 15 centimeters so when I double it up it's going to be perfect to fit in well the same thing um, first I am going to see what's about the middle just a little mark on here and here and then I want where is my mark here it is um, let's see let's make the first one here and then each two centimeters that think that will be perfect okay let's make some little holes but you don't have to use this you can also use your uh, picker or any kind you want but I am going to use this then put the brads in if you have them well I have plenty so I am going to share them okay now we are going to glue this down because the person who gets this just have to peel this open and she can put them off so we just fold it back so we have a nice card just use some distress ink to finish it in it finishing it up <laughs> and there we have our present number two look how easy that is okay present number two present number three is just a letter and I just print out some journaling but you also can leave it just plain and then just fold it 
in the right size so it will fit. Okay, then grab some wire and just wrap it around. And I'm doing it wrong because this I want for the top. For the, you begin at the top and then just wrap it around. Hello, you don't work with me today. <laughs> Here we go. Just wrap it around in the middle. Yep, then go to the front. Place this a little in the middle possible as can. Then make a knob. Also in the middle as possible as can. And make another knob. Hope I can do that because this is really not going easy, but we can do it. We can do it. Here we go. Okay, now I am going to make a little bow if I have plenty. And I do just and that's enough okay just cutting this off and now this could be ready but I glue just a little bow on top and this bow does not have to be really thick otherwise it really does not fit so let's see what's my flattest one I think this is more flat than that one. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, this one is also nice. Let's use this one. Not too much glue because we don't want the glue attached to the paper. So just be gentle and put it on the knob, not on the paper. Just watch it dry. So it won't attach to the paper. Okay, so let this dry just a minute. So that is poison number three. And oh yeah, now the seam binding or any ribbon you have, of course. Um, I pick a card and just uh, some paper. And this is five and by 15, I guess. Yeah, five by 15 centimeters. And in inches it is 2 inches by about 6, 2 by 6 inches. So we are going to do the same thing, we're just going to fold this in half. And I want this to shut down too, so I'm going to use my glue gun. make sure that everything is nice close you can also use glue of course guys please just use anything you have in your stash okay now I'm going to use my envelope punch to make these nice little gaps and I am just going to put this on the end of my green punch and I just punch it. Now this is double paper so I really have to <laughs> make a lot of strength to put this through. Okay, so now we don't use it. I can put it back on its place. Then I am going to use this corner jumper. This is not a jumper, this is just a corner punch. Corner punch. There we go. And then we have to cut out this piece in the middle. And then it's done, guys. That's it. Here we go. Then we 
we have a little thing and these are also very nice to make for yourself if you have any little ribbon left that's so easy to make these little things and so you can put your ribbon around it and if you want to store it uh, you can make a hole in and then grab a big ring to put them all in and you just have to hang it but we'll show that later on anyway now we are going to use my leftover seam binding oh i also can use this one hmm. options i'll just use my seam binding for now just wrap it around as much as you have as much as you want just wrap it around Tuck the rest in. Here we go. Yay! I want this a little tighter. I think I am going to use this on the back, on the bottom. Yeah, then this is nicer. Then I am just for using some little flowers to give it an extra embellished touch and yes there is already an adhesive thing on but I don't trust that I just trust my hot glue <laughs> Okay, so now we have the four, um, yeah this is dry, so this can, oh I hope it's not too thick, but okay. Anyway, what's the next thing, oh we'll just put it all back in, and let's see, these were at the bottom and these were at the top, so put it back in, and then we see where we want the presents in oh it's, it's traveling on the back okay yep this is one and two Okay, now I did the thickest one on the top, so I am going to put this on the top here. Oh, I really hope this fits. This is really thick, guys. Perhaps it was not necessary to put the flower on top, but we'll see, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Slide this in. In here. Here it goes. Here it goes. And it's settled. Okay, now the next thick thing is this piece. So I'm going to put this also on top. Okay, and then we just have these two. Um, let's see, I think the pink one on here. And the green one on the other side. Let's see. Okay, the 
this one is ready. This one is, oh yeah, it's getting a little stuck here on the back with this piece. Here we go. Little lower. <laughs> I want you to go a little lower if it's possible. But it's getting stuck under here. Okay, guys. This is really is trouble when perhaps it's a better way that I will put this on its place and then put it in. Okay, should have thought that earlier. <laughs> okay, so now we have a really nice big page and I really like it. Yeah. So the first page we have the nice embellishments with the words, the black and the gold words. And then on the back we see the presents. Yay! Yeah, like it. Okay, what's next? Still need some cards. Hello, hello, hello. To... Now we are going to make these little inserts and let's pull one out i made a booklet so you can widen you can put photos in even on the back so i only decorate the front and so we are going to make these real quick together with me same time and i make these little uh, ribbons on so you can pull them easily out and in well supposed to Hello. Yeah. <laughs> so you can pull them easily out. That is the idea. Okay, so and it gives a really nice touch using the ribbon also. Okay, so let's do this on the pink one. So what I did was I grabbed my design paper, I grabbed a white cardstock and made them the good size that fits in the pockets. You can measure that your own so you have the correct size. So the first thing I do is make the ribbon on you can use glue but for making this video not too very long I will use some tape and while the first one is on we also do the design paper okay well that was really easy so we'll do all the rest just a small thing coming out not too much, we don't need that much. Let's put your design paper on because we still have design paper. Yay! <laughs> and this one over here. the last one I use my corner jumper for the corners from the design paper so it gives just an extra touch of it I believe <laughs> that's just my opinion okay so you can leave them like this or if you have also so many nice little things to do on top then just follow me I use another 
little doily and I am going to fold these in in two sections just going to cut these off so I have four pieces okay now let's glue them on and just using the outlines and just a little in that will do okay one I will do for the outside just staying inside the pink and one I do on the outside like this and you can choose any way of course you like I just like two different things okay so that's step one now I am going to glue on my beaver bear still don't know what it is a beaver or a bear or perhaps both I mean who knows then I'm sticking this so the corners is tuck under the bear beaver and for just an extra touch I will put a feather under the bear okay this is one um, this piece I want to cover up the corners so I choose this flower that goes on this corner and I choose this blue flower that goes on that corner and in the middle we use this golden piece fits perfectly this one oh, let's see I believe yeah, I just need a little angle so there just need a little so we are going to glue this on there we go and the flower on the bottom okay and then I like this piece we like the delic the delic the delicacy of it and we do this just on the other one and that's that more I don't do about it the rest speaks for itself yeah okay so now these are ready let's grab the pink one and let's tuck them in and then you will see how cute this will look and let's see um, wait just a minute I really want it a bit different with the colors so I will do this here and you will be on here didn't know of <laughs> if I looked at that with the black but anyway I looked now. Look how cute. Awesome. Yay. 
So let's see, we have this ready. Oh yeah, I need this piece to be decorative. And then still needs little pieces on here. And the waterfall still. Okay. Oh, and this piece. This was also a big one. Where did it go? Footsie. Oh no. Here it is. Yeah, this one was for here. Okay. So let me do first the two big ones and I think then for the leftovers I will make the waterfall finished. And some little tags on here. Ooh, almost finished guys. <laughs> Okay, let's do the first big one that goes in the cover. Really simple, but really effective, I think. The inside, I leave it plain for the people who wants to widen or put photos in. So, this is really cool. Hmm, could be just a little bling bling. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start with this black piece. Well, this was the pink kit, so let's put the rest away. And then I just grab the other piece. So I have left this piece. Oh, this is not from the same papers. And yeah, we need orange. Yep, this can go away. So what I did was I just picked this leftover. Going to be cutting down on the good size. Cutting down. Okay, that's step one. Now I'm not going to cut it so I'm just going to lay this on top and cut this piece off. There we go. And then I'm just going to make the same size as this piece. Cutting it off. Okay, then I am going to glue these two together with just normal piece of tape. Here we go. Then I'm going to smudge it. Perhaps it was better to do that first, but it still can do. Okay. Last piece. Then I am going to put some tape on for the ribbon. Let's put some ribbon on. Here we go. Put it on the back. And then this will fit on here. And if it doesn't, you can still cut it off, but it does, it does fit. So we just glue this on. It's so simple, but yeah. Okay, glue this on top. And then I like this piece. You can make a film very long. Well, just showing everything you do. <laughs> and it's not that I will uh, not like to do it. I just want to show you everything I do. And that's for some of you that's really appreciating. So, okay. Just let's do it. Let's just film it all. Here we go, yeah, and I think I really like some extra bling, one or two, oh, the more the better, isn't it? 
Yes, it is. I think I will use my glue gun so I will make it hot, but you have to wait, guys. You just have to wait. But you know what I mean. I will do this in just a second. Just cut this on the right spot. I think I like one more. I think... Yeah, that's delicate. Mm. Oh no, we still have. That's easy. Yeah. Okay, cutting this piece also and and it rubs down. Okay, well I still need to wait for my hot glue, but yeah, this is really the finishing touch. Ooh, nice. Okay, back for the next card. Back in a minute. Okay, my next thing is going to look like this, really easy, but really like it. So first thing is first putting the corners on first, just where a corner picture is supposed to be. Okay, and then. Then I want for this just another piece I cut out, otherwise I yeah, this will do it. So let's put this first on the back. Now I am going to do the corners and I really want that all these little things is staying there because this is a tag so you want these little pieces stay there. So I hope it will stay but it's a big pocket so oh. <laughs> hello. That was not the planning of doing, but it's still okay. Okay, then we have this nice piece. We really love this piece. Putting on on every corner the glue. Don't want any missing piece. And then the final, the words, you're the best. go that's that so simple but so cute yeah 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 loving it Let's see where this goes well this is supposed to be in here but I need the white one so I really hope that this pocket is big enough put it in. Yes it is. Oh and this is cute. It's just popping out. And no that was not planned. <laughs> it really was not. But it just did. Okay this is awesome. Alrighty. Well almost done. Still need 
two or three, four nice little tags in here. And then it's almost done, guys. Next two tags. Two just really cute little ones. Really so easy. What did I do? I just grab my leftovers and just cutting them in the right size. it on, make sure you're gluing this also good on Okay. Now I am just going to cut these above where this ends, like this, really simple, just cutting them off. Then I'm going to use my, this corner punch to give it a simple nice corner here we go and then just gluing a few ribbons on it's really that simple but you just have to sit down for it and just doing it. Just a little sparkling in the middle. And that's that. And then the white ones are also done. Okay, well, I think I will need just a few more. But I think we'll, these will be fitting here perfectly. Look at this. This is amazing. Isn't it? But we still have something on it. Well, you just can use one here and one here. That's an option. That's just an option. Okay. Um, yeah, I think. Oh, and then this. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is so cute. There it goes. Yeah, I think I will make a few tags that uh, will be a little longer than this. That will be perfect so yeah we'll do that hey guys i think it's ready ready um so real quick before i go make a final video i just put some nice matching colors flowers on the front and yeah the rest you already see make some larger tags in here and but i will show you in a minute when i go to um yeah okay um so yeah i did make uh, my waterfall with the leftovers and on the inside i leave it just plain because you want to use it for, for pictures i guess and um so yeah it's done girls yeah we are going to make a nice final 
film of it and so yeah stay tuned to the final thanks for joining me this tutorial so thumbs up if you liked it so bye bye